Just like humans, your fur babies are also in danger of suffering from heat stroke. And since they can't tell us with words, it's so important to pay attention to your pet's behavior as they enjoy their time outdoors. Dr. Seth Shirey with Starnes Animal Clinic says that your furry friends may push themselves during playtime, and he suggests pet parents encourage their pets to take frequent breaks. Heat stroke or heat exhaustion, this is the time of year that it happens because the pets are not acclimated to the heat yet. You get into mid and late summer, dogs have dealt with it for a while and they're prepared and, and we don't see it nearly as much. Watch for our, our uh, respiratory rate. How much are we panting? Because that's how dogs sweat, right? And that's how they cool off. So if your dog is a respiratory rate of like 100, I mean, you know, where they are just as fast as they can, and that tongue is as far out of their mouth as they can, you got to stop because that they're too far, um, too hot. And dogs will do that. You know, there are so many dogs that will not stop. They'll just keep going until they collapse. Dr. Sherry says to always have water on hand at all times for your dog and make them take a break every 10 to 15 minutes. Try to walk your dogs early in the morning or later in the evening during cooler hours and stick to the shaded areas. And as always, never leave any living thing in your car when it's this hot.